project is not a musical group in as much as it is a state of mind. Shadow Project is the limitations of this world. The world in which we operate has no limitations, no boundaries, no walls. The world in which we operate is beyond good and evil, for they are one and the same. As a race of frail humans, we lie to ourselves and others every moment of every day. We are allowing time to be stolen from us. Every moment stolen is a lie. We are finding what the little time we have with the overwhelming limitations of our golden everyday lives. Moments which we have cast and hold on to with dear life. Shadow Project rejects the limitations of our world. As a race of frail humans, we face stagnant and blindness. We do not move, we do not participate. We bury ourselves in the poisons of someone else's reality as opposed to our own. Shadow Project rejects the limitations of that world. Our bodies and minds are made for movement, yet we stay paralyzed. Crutches which we embrace must be destroyed. No longer needed. As a race of frail humans, we must tear down the walls we have assembled around us. As a race of frail humans, we must look to ourselves, we must learn to be strong. Shadow Project is not a musical group, it is a state of mind. A state of mind in which life and death play the same role. A state of mind in which fear holds no relevance, for fear is what binds us to a world of limitations. The world in which we operate has no limitations, no boundaries, no walls. A state of mind in which the inner self reveals to us the true self, inside out. As a race of frail humans, we must look to ourselves. We must learn to be strong. We must look to the truth that is within. Shadow Project is not a musical group. It is a state of mind.
It's also found video images, actually film images um, that we found in, a, in an old house and spliced together along with some scratch and cartooning type of things and then edited in some live shots later. Uh, I think it was done, what, about? 88, the outline did, did things on the people themselves who are in there, changed their background. Right, scratch work on actual film images as well. Yeah, like kept the pictures, but adjusted the background or, or even face. And what's the song about? Holy Hell is about, um, I'm sure you've heard about all the satanic teenage kids who just kill their friends or people just for the hell of it and they think it's being a Satanist. But that's, that's basically about the kids today and how they are um, getting to some real heavy violent things and with no remorse, no feeling towards people who they, that are close friends of theirs even.
mixture of emotions as we can possibly express. Um, I think that's what we're trying to do with Shadow Project is to just stay open in our communications with people and keep it as pure as possible, not, you know, cover it up with a lot of uh, things that to, to me personally seem like nonsense. There's so much music out now that I, I can't feel any pure emotion coming from it. So we're trying to uh, view ourselves in a different direction than that. Get the true feelings out instead of trying to be your uh, assembly line band. We've tried to put art in everything we do. Every show is yeah. different. So we're trying to do our, put art into our sets. Theatrics is very important to us because we are trying to present a full image. You know, if, uh, if we were to go up there in jeans and a t-shirt, which is a cliche, but if we were to do something like that, for me it's just not a full presentation of what we're trying to put across. Um, Unless you're putting a gene in it together. Right, you know, there, there are other worlds to explore, and um, to me the best way to do that is to completely involve yourself in the world that you're searching for. So as far as a look or, or stage props or anything like that, we try to connect them all together to get our message across for that one particular show or that one particular album and then move on from there to something new. You know, people want to see new things and fresh things and, you know. Who are these people you're talking about? Who knows? Well, whoever is there. Anybody who knows? Who wants to care? Well, I would say, who are these fans? I mean, in terms of the type of people who come to see your shows or... Well, you want their name? <laughs>
we're there for whoever can deal with it. <laughs> right, we, we, yeah, that's, that's exactly it. We don't want to limit ourselves to any set audience. Obviously, um, you know, we get grouped into categories and, and you know, that's okay for now, but, but we're interested in breaking out of that. We'd like to have ourselves open to anyone who's interested. You know, it doesn't matter what scene they're in or what music they're interested in. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to manage that through being as open and pure in our communication as we possibly can be. Well, that's pretty much the interest behind a band. What about the other members like Paris? What's your interest? My interest? Experimentation without limitations. Just um, being myself and expressing myself. I guess I express it, my feeling with my bass. I think that people make me feel really good on stage. You know, I, that's the only time I feel like I'm really living. <laughs>
call out a line, tracing her memory, saltine eyes. See where this love flows. It flows empty. Exhausted, he falls on the bed, sharing a cramped space, the burial site. Lost in a dizzying haze, he lay there savoring defeat. Sympathy left him unmoved. I have talked from your heart once more. Call out a line, dipping your heart in mellow black, a cup of worries on ice. When the smoke cleared, he prayed that something would happen. The light of a birthday candle extinguished distant clouds. Eyeless abandoned buildings began to cry. Bludgeoned, mutilated bodies slept fitfully, embracing a comfortable illusion. If I loved the plague outside, I would beg to be released. God working his wounds, God lying at his wounds. We're calling out to you, God walking behind me, dog barking alone. Dragging the wounded leg behind his grief, waking me up. I need to know, crawling out of breath, can you help me reaching out? Grasp the edge, tumbling across my face, lazy in a way. I'm not sure that I need you, super submissive, ultra sublime. Will he caress one less outcry? Using his bare hands, his own pneumatic flesh, he leveled his gun and fired. The horrid smell of birth hit the wall, leaving a hole above his head. He noticed that his left hand, dispatched by death, bruised his chest, punishing the black skin. Slumped on the sidewalk, smooth, stainless steel pulled itself onto him. A heavy fabric binding stretched his skin. His body could not control a deep fear of killing in sharp focus. Gasping for air, he was beaten with crutches and raped by his own sexuality. This man is a symbol of strength, a legacy of hostility and trust. A whispered apology stays dead. The stranded will die, die as if frozen, flat against the ground. Fell on you <laughs> because you're mad. 